Okay, I'm really excited. I've learned a new fire making technique and it's called the fire roll or it's been credited to a gentleman and I don't know his first name, but the Rudiger or air, see R-U-D-I-G-E-R uh, method. So anyway, what you need is some type of fibrous material. Here I'm just using half of a cotton ball that I've unrolled, two flat surfaces and ashes. And these are ashes from uh, my fire pit in the backyard. And you just need a, <clears throat> a little bit on here. And let me see if I can show you about how much I have. Let's see if I can see my stupid camera here. So there you go. And then what you want to do is roll this up and not really tight, but uh, roll it about as tight as you would if you were packing for a trip and you were rolling a pair of pants up. That's about as tight as you want. And then take and just roll it. And I'm only using about the weight of this board here. There we go. See? And you could probably pre-make a bunch of these and keep them in a pill bottle. And so now here's the hard part is figuring out the speed and the amount of weight you want to put on this. But once you get it down right, uh, you can make a fire within about 10 seconds. So here we go. Just kind of get your method down. I smell it. Not quite. Let's try it one more time. Ah, third time's a char. So if we can see this, and just kind of unravel it. And there you go. Pretty awesome. So my next trick is trying to find some natural materials. And instead of using a piece of cement, a piece of a processed wood, uh, try to find some natural flat materials. So there you go, another method of making fire.